next month. So what? We're gonna have to get our hands dirty if we expect... I that. know that, Quacky. It's just that you always thought my first time would be a child, you know? There'll be plenty of time for kid bashing later, Val. Don't worry. He's alive! Quacky! Look at him squirming over there! My first time can still be special! I could still have my way with a child! What do you want, Pinky? What? Wait, uh, uh, I was making a, a delivery for, uh, for Miss Monica. Use my government name again, I dare you, motherfucker. What? Huh. Say my name! I, I, Valentine's the name. V. A. L. Forget it. This no good clownist. So. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not a clownist, okay? I'm not a clownist. I mean, I mean is that even a thing? I don't... You hearing this, Quacky? <gasps> Pinky, you don't even know about clownism. Oh, fuck am I? Have you ever been profiled, Pinkus? Just walking down the street and stopped by the police? Profile? Goddamn nightmare crossing the border. That it is. Apparently, a clown is no longer permitted to drive a tiny automobile without being accosted. You got enough seat belts in there, they ask me? Where are your other clown friends? I'm not even that type of clown, damn it. <laughs> is it really that strange that a clown drives a comically undersized car without five to seven of his closest friends thrown away inside? And if it's not the pigs, it's the goddamn children pointing and laughing at us. But isn't that why circus clowns use those cars now for the laughs? I mean, they're, they're funny. Cookie, did he just infer we were circus clowns? Might as well have called us mimes. Are you aware that a clown will be laughed at on average 700 more times than a regular person in the course of a month? For no other reason than being a clown. It's a goddamn shame. A real fucking travesty. But isn't, isn't that the point? To make people laugh? I mean, you're clowns. Oh, so you're an expert on clowns, suddenly. You know nothing of our kind. When was the last time you saw an accurate clown portrayal on TV? Trick question, kid. Never happened. Not once! No more will I stand for complete strangers requesting I haul myself at infant birthday festivities. I have just as much right to ride my tricycle in the park as anybody. Look, nobody's holding the gun to your head, huh? You guys, you guys chose to be clowns. Excuse me! Did you just say choose? You think we chose this constant mockery? The profile? The tiny cards? The wacky hair? Yes, okay? You weren't born with those red noses on your face. <laughs> we was born as clowns, Pinky, where it counts! Look, if you're happy, huh? You're, you're happy and proud of your, uh, your heritage, hmm? Then what's the problem, huh? We, we got no problem. Happy? Who in their right mind would be happy? Subjected to the degrading minstrel show of contemporary clowning. We are constantly facing clownist oppression. Daily, I'm brutally assaulted by infant laughter. Cruelly subjected to the giggles. The chuckles. The guffaws. The guffaws! It's never ending! It does not stop. Still think being a clown is all fun and games, kid? <laughs> doot doot loot doot. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. Synchronized juggling. Still not recognized as an Olympic sport. 
<laughs> fuck you laughing at! The fuck you laughing at! Motherfucker! The fuck you laughing This is funny, fucker! The fuck are you laughing at? Stop fucking laughing! Asshole! Patch is called. It's time. <laughs> No, no, please, please. I swear. Knock. Knock. Pinky. No. Nah. Do it. She said, knock. No more will we suffer. No more. We're too quirky. We're going to the fair. The fair? Kids. Let the revolution begin. Welcome, my name's Nadav, thanks for checking out my video. This one's a few years old now, but I wanted to re-release it in the 2 to 1 aspect ratio as well as scale it up for playback in 4K. Again, not really 4K, it was filmed in 1080, but the image should just be a little bit crisper. The Dark Knight was obviously a big influence on the tone and style of this piece. The script when I initially got it was this dark, zany comedy that borrowed heavily on the Joker and Harley Quinn relationship, and so I really leaned into that aspect, dragging it into reality and put the audience right in the shoes of the victim. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll catch you on the turnaround. Peace.